you're watching Way to Play Linebacker. With offenses becoming more and more explosive, it is important to have a strong defense to slow them down. Mayfield in trouble, and he's going to be taken down! But T.J. Watt, second sack of the night. One way to have a stout defense is to build around your linebacker crew. They have sacked Aaron Rodgers five times tonight. Great job. Y'all keep hunting, man. Keep that pressure on us. If you like to sack the quarterback, stuff the run, and even intercept passes, maybe playing linebacker is for you. What's up? I'm Darius Stanton, linebacker for the Elpis Coast. Linebackers are the most versatile players on the defense. Leonard with the stiff arm, but another turnover for the defense that's got the most in the league. Allen hit from behind, and there it is, a sack for Josh Allen against Josh Allen. Linebacker is the Swiss army knife of the defense. You'll be asked to do it all. Blitz. They're coming. You bet they are. Here they come. Tackle. Then here comes Jermaine Edmonds to clean it up and make the tackle. And even dropping two pass covers. End zone incomplete. Here comes Fournette again, trying to get around the right side. He won't. Demario Davis. They say great linebackers have similar traits, but there are different fundamentals. Leadership, size, instincts, work ethic, toughness, durability, athletic ability, speed. Micah Parsons flashing the speed. Good vision and recognition. Tackling, of course. And what a tackle. That is Van Der Esch keeping Debo a yard short. The number of linebackers and where you are lined up will be determined by what defensive scheme you are running. And Landry picks him up. Taking it down! In this video, we will keep it simple and focus on just two, the 3-4 and 4-3 defense. The 3-4 means there are three defensive linemen backed up by four linebackers, which means there are two inside linebackers. In a 4-3, there will be four down linemen backed up by three linebackers, which means there is only one inside linebacker. So that means there are two types of linebackers, inside and a sack, Eric Kendrick. And outside. Darnold is sacked by Parsons, number five for Dallas. An outside linebacker will usually line up on the line of scrimmage across from the tight end. Being a linebacker, you have to be one of the most versatile players on the defense. The tight end adds an extra blocker to the line of scrimmage, making it the strong side. Keenum from the gun. Keenum devoured back at the 49, Judon. The other job of an outside linebacker will be to line up off the line of scrimmage. You will be asked to contain the run on the weak side of the line and usually cover the running back if he runs out for a pass. It's the job of an inside linebacker to find and identify where the tight end is lined up. An inside linebacker is considered the quarterback of the defense. You will call plays and make sure the defense coverage is correct. Typically, this player has the largest football IQ on the defense. The inside linebacker will be asked to blitz, keep an eye on the QB to make sure he doesn't run, or you will be asked to drop into coverage to defend the pass. As you can see, linebackers are a vital part to the defense. Allen throws, intercepted! It's Josh Allen! Intercepting Josh Allen! Like the offense, the first thing you do as a linebacker is to huddle up and get the defensive play call. This will usually be called by the inside or middle linebacker. When you get the play call, you will know what gaps you need to fill or if you are dropping into pass coverage. Once you start to line up, the inside linebacker will identify where the tight end is and align the linebackers up correctly. Back to Patterson. They dump it off, and it's caught by the tight end, and that's the rookie Pitts, who's hit by Warner. Linebackers can line up on the line of scrimmage or three to five yards off the line of scrimmage, depending on the play call. Josh Allen lines up shotgun. These gaps are what number holes the offense might be running through. But on defense, we call these gaps. 
you want to make sure these gaps are as small as possible in order to tackle the ball carrier. Need to do your best to get to the quarterback or the running back as fast as you can. Gaps are the space between the offensive linemen. Between the center and the guard is the A gap. Between the guard and tackle is the B gap. Between the tackle and the tight end is the C gap. Outside of the tight end is the D gap. Defenses must cover these gaps to stop an effective rushing attack. It's important to learn how to tackle properly and use proper technique. Watch the runner's torso, get in ready position, keep low, keep your head up, never lead with your head, initiate contact using your chest and front of your shoulder pads, wrap your arms around the ball carrier. It is important to use your hips, legs, and hands to generate power through the tackle. And Judon, back-to-back -back weeks with a sack for Judon and a big one here to force third down and long. If you have been asked to drop into pass coverage, it's important to know if the play call asks for you to cover man-to-man -man or zone coverage. If it's man-to-man, -man, you will be assigned to cover a running back, tight end, or sometimes a wide receiver. You must do your best to stay with them during their route. Keep yourself between the QB and the receiver. If the ball is thrown your way, do your best to keep the receiver from catching it. Picked off, a diving interception by Aaron Kendricks. Be careful not to hit the receiver early though, that's pass interference and a big penalty. And a flag back at the 22. The linebacker is asked to do a lot, but that's okay because it can be the most rewarding position on defense. You are the anchor of the D and can be the difference to winning a championship. Just ask Ray Lewis. McNair has the football, has a lot of time, throws underneath and it's picked up. Ray Lewis has the ball. He's on the 40, 30, could go all the way. 20, still on his feet, touchdown, Ray Lewis! If you want to see more videos, head to playfootball.nfl.com.